start the recording. Ready? Queued up? <clears throat> like you said you were? That's great. It is, of Wonderful. course, queued up. Mm. Yep. And away we go. Welcome to Everyone Racers, There's a show designed for the world of low-dollar racing and oddball car culture. It doesn't matter what kind of limit champ or lucky track dog league you run. SCCA or NASA, we won't discriminate. As long as you drive it hard and built it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussions, tips, tricks, as well as news and notes from the world of amateur and garage racing. And whether it's on the spot, hella sweet or we're lucky enough, and Chrissy, Chrissy, and Chrissy, and I give you just the tip. Oh, it stopped too early again. I apologize. For sure, you'll learn, learn a little and learn even well, learn some and whatever. Everyone, report to the paddock. This is Chris. This is Chrissy. I'm Jeff. I'm mental. And this is our first show. Welcome, welcome. Please and thank you. We had to. Re <laughs> I won't even tell you what we had to do already today. Uh, but actually, I'm. I lie. This is everyone bad comparatively. Yeah, come on. And you have a degree in radio normal jank. We, a normal jank, which is excess for most people. Uh, we're everyone racers. Welcome to this eight bit show. I'm sorry, not our first show. It's episode two fifty six. Goodness gracious, or two to the eighth power. Thank you for joining us. Let's get right to it. What Jeff's you operating on? an 8 bit computer tonight. Uh, that's think. right. Or brain. Yeah. My yeah. finger was hovering over the button and all of a sudden it just went. I was like, I didn't touch that. I swear. It's I like swear. I'm not, never, I'm not I, touching I, you. I never pushed I'm the button early. I I'm totally not touching swear. you. I'm not never touching happens. you. Only tonight. Uh, come on. Uh -huh. okay. Jeff, what are you working uh, on? Uh, we, we just got back from the Thompson race. I was <laughs> unpacking and returning trucks and trailers and RVs because I had never returned the Boy Scout trailer from camp the week prior. And then like the RV was living in front of my house. So I had to like take care of all of that business. And uh, since then I've been sleeping in the guest room because the whole house has COVID, but me. Yeah. I went to a race and left my family sick at home. They you love quarantined. Them. You quarantined. That's what else they're going to do. Yeah. At the most, <laughs> at the place where you could do the most good. That's right. That's, that's what I've been doing. And then going back to work, of course. No big deal. What's uh, you working on, Chris? Um, well, a bunch of stuff after race. Chris, you'll go through some of that. Uh, I did a post-race on the Mazda. I uh, cleaned it up a bit. The two things that were bothering me at the end of the race was it wasn't running quite right. Like, not bad, but not quite right. Um, and also, there was some kind of rotational noise I thought coming from the right rear. So, um, gave it all at once over. I, in the right rear, the caliper seems to be binding up a little bit. So I think that's probably the, the rotational noise as the caliper wasn't ever releasing all the way. Um, and that, that caliper is original to the car with 256,000 miles on it. So it's time. It's so I'll replace that one. I have a used one downstairs. So that'll go on. I did a compression test on the motor just because I hadn't done one in a long time. I found a fair amount of oil down the spark plug wells from the Mazda Valdez incident because it's got down the valve cover and around the coil yeah, so that might have expected right I right mean... but that that can't have been helping things in in running the running well department did a compression test cylinder number one 200 cylinder number three 200 cylinder number four 175 cylinder Ooh. number so three 175 cylinder four 200 so not that bad i'll take that i'll take that and when i put some oil down it came up to came up to 190 hmm. so i like, retract that by, ooh. Right. not that bad acceptable if it's a hundred thousand mile motor and it just got been being beaten on for a long time um yeah then tonight i washed the nsx or we washed the nsx and mercedes and vacuumed and whatnot and i would have washed cadillac too but we had to do a show so <laughs> that's a time commitment that cadillac's really large yeah it is and i i even said like we don't wash our suv truck type things we never i think we washed the sub besides in the winter maybe three times yeah and maybe? the winter it goes through the car wash to get the salt off of it right but hence why it's still living but this and is nicer and, so I, yeah it is nicer and it gets sub was also gm disappearing dirt brown yeah yeah which was really wonderful 
Absolutely was. C- couldn't tell. What what is the name of that color? Beige. Kind of. It was light. It's like a lighter burnt, beige. I don't know. Sienna, Everyone does exact. It's. it's like a dark silver, a light. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of brownish yeah. silver though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I like beige. Well, it's not your awesome. truck anymore. Up, up, Although up next, up next on everyone colors. <laughs> Sandalwood. I, That's I, probably I, it. But speaking of the truck, I did give it air hearts when I saw it because it was Thompson's. I yeah, was going to say, driving. we did see the it was new a, owners. It was a little confusing when the driver. They love it. Yep, and yes. Jess is leaving. Jess like, hey, Chris, someone's stealing your truck. <laughs> so. Pretty much every time it went by. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Joke get old. Yep. Yeah. And people came, came over and they're like, why is your truck over there? It's like Steve was like, is that your truck? <laughs> What's it doing over there? Yeah. Yeah. Not in the right spot at all. Nope. Okay. Well, great. Um, Chrissy, you want to fill in what else we've, sure. we've been working we, on? Well, last week we were packing and then we went racing and drove to the race and then we died for some heat we'll talk about that in a little while uh and then of course unpacking so monday night after being sleep deprived took and it was 97 degrees outside unpacked the car and then of course i haven't mowed the lawn in three weeks so there's that um yeah so and then cleaning up all the crap and then i'm gonna help chris wash the cars tonight so House is looking much better than it has been in a while. Uh, also because I decided to drop a can of Diet Coke while I was putting it in the fridge. No. Straight down while the door was open. Uh, so not only did it go all over myself, every inch of my kitchen, all of my fridge as well, because it shot into my kitchen. So that made me um, clean up my kitchen quicker because I had to wash the floor twice. Anyway, Mental, <laughs> what have you been doing? My life is pale in interest compared to you guys. Uh, I have been redoing, I, I told you guys last week, I was working on the heater core and I ordered new heater core hoses from the firewall to the engine block. And because- Which car was this? The Volvo, the T5. Volvo, okay. And I, I literally spent two nights trying to get one of those hoses from the firewall back onto its pipe on the engine block. Infuriating. And it was just, you can't get, two hands in there you couldn't even really get one hand in there and i am trying everything and i would catch myself starting to get frustrated and start wanting to do stupid things like take more stuff off and i would stop and just go inside and ultimately i managed to get it on by doing the infamous i got your nose trick and using my knuckles to force the hose back onto there so i got that done uh tomorrow it should be i should be getting it registered and uh, that that has been my my quiet existence. Great. So you didn't? Were you driving it like on the other guy's plates, or were you just not no, driving just, it? No, I just don't have. Well, I have been driving it because the cooling system's out of it. Oh, Prior to that, the cooling system was out. I just thought you weren't. Well, the heater core came out while I'm doing the heater core. That was the whole thing about the why you're in there itis. So I went ahead and I'm like, I ain't doing this, but once. And so I replaced the hoses that were coming from the firewall. I replaced the heater core, new gaskets, all this other kind of stuff, pulled the carpet out, power washed it. Yeah. yeah all yeah. of that. For some reason, my the mind just system. assumed you looped it and drove without a yeah. heater AC. Well, fair assumption. But yeah. uh, cooling system in, in Nevada seems to be an important it Probably. Thing. You're right. The cooling system. But it was, it was this close to just getting a routed pipe not going to have a heater at all. The heck with it. There's a guy I work with. He's got an old Mercury uh, marquee, the, uh, the, the Panther uh, Pico or not the Pico, but the Panther chassis yeah. and uh, his heater core went out and he took one look about how far up in the dash it was. Nope. Cut him to the firewall, that. ran a, ran at those there. He has no heater. He's fine. He's got another car. He can get to work. Ain't nobody got no time for that. I mean, it's, it's not that cold that often. So it, it gets cold when you go up in the mountains though. Don't in you? The, I mean, yeah, but yeah. like in the mornings, so you, it may be a little chilly, yeah. but you, you can wear a coat. Up there.